Hey everybody, this is Arnie here. It's been a while since we talked, but um, this video is about how to run your first 100 mile race. Well, mine's coming up this Saturday. It's the Havilene 100, October the 29th. Three days to go. I've had 97 days since um, I started this journey. And um, boy, have I learned a lot. I just want to go over a few things that that may help you in preparation um, for your first 100 mile. Um, first of all, I would find somebody to help, get some help. I mean, that's what I did. Um, I had a good friend, Benedict Duggar, who has really been a blessing to me, and he convinced me that I could even do this. And then we worked on things like um, my heart rate. I'm doing a lot of work um, with what's called the Maffetone Method by Dr. Phil Maffetone. I've been really um, honoring that the last um, probably 10 weeks. And um, a lot of work with pace, technique, um, race, I mean, strategies, uh, nutrition. I've been working on becoming fat adapted all year long. Um, I have been able to, the longest run I've been able to do is seven hours without any food, just water and maybe some uh, raw cocoa beans. All these, all these things are now going to come into play for my 100 mile, 100 mile event, which I have 30, 30 hours to complete. But I don't just want to complete it. I want to complete it and feel good. I want to complete it and be healthy. Um, I, you know, it's, it's going to be a grand experience. A big party in the desert is what they call it. And I want to experience all that. So that's what this is about for me. It's not just about, you know, dragging my body around for 30 hours. It's, but, but all these things, learning how to manage pain, following Pete Egoscu's book um, on pain is a tremendous investment. Um, addressing my strength. I did a lot, a lot of strength training because that's my background. And then this last three, four weeks, I've really backed off on my strength training, but maintaining some things like flexor, a lot of core strengthening, flexibility things. Uh, I got a little lesson about two and a half weeks ago and had to start really rolling hard on my uh, roller for my um, quads and my hips got really tight just out of the blue. But that's that's what happens. You got to be up on this stuff. You've got to be you got to listen to your body. I mean, things I've had to do. Um, try things out on your in your training. Don't wait to the end. Foods that you're going to eat, race strategies, paces that you think you're going to go at. All these things are important. All these things are, I know I'm going to use this weekend. This is stuff you want to practice during your training. And um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um, well, I've done a lot of stuff with, with hydration, with ice. Being here in, in Arizona, I've learned a lot about how to, <clears throat> how to hydrate and keep cool. Uh, I follow a lot of Dr. Tim Noakes. Uh, theories on drink to thirst that's worked incredibly well for me this year. Uh, I don't use any uh, extra sodium anymore except what I put on my food and a little bit before I train a long training session, only long training sessions where I know I'm going to go six, seven hours um, and uh, just a lot of these things. So bottom line is this, my, my race is Havelina is coming up this Saturday. I'm going to give a full race report when we're done and uh, probably jump in here uh, during the race and do some little things, have some fun. But bottom line is this, if you're going to run 100, get yourself a coach, have a plan. I mean, I did a lot of things to learn. This has been an incredible learning experience, incredible journey. And um, take care of your body. It's about health. It's not about performance. Performance will come if you're healthy. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm out and um, I'll be touching base with you guys this weekend and next week for sure. But have a wonderful day, night, wherever you're at, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.